The UK's weather is notoriously fickle. We are surrounded by so many different influences. A large ocean to the west, a continent to the east. Midsummer heat can originate in North Africa. And in the winter, the north wind doth blow and we shall have snow at least some of the time. These are air masses, bodies of air with fairly uniform temperature and humidity as a result of spending time in a particular source region. Dry air masses come from the south or the east, Africa, Europe, Asia. That's why we call these continental. Moist air masses come from the west or the north. These are known as maritime air masses. Both continental and maritime air masses can be warm or cold. Warm air masses originate from the southwest, the subtropics or the tropics. These are called tropical. Cold air masses come from Canada, Greenland, Siberia, Eastern Europe. These are polar air masses. And when it arrives straight from the north, well, this is called an Arctic maritime air mass. And on returning polar maritime, we have something of a polar tropical blend. Six air masses in total that affect the UK. Now, each of these will have their own characteristics when they leave their source region before being modified in various ways on their journey to the UK. Let's explore each of these in turn. Tropical maritime. The tropical maritime air mass is often dull, damp and mild. It actually starts in the tropics or the subtropics where it's warm and humid, but the southwesterlies that bring tropical maritime air to the UK pass over cooler seas en route. And when humid air close to the sea cools, it becomes saturated, resulting in thick low cloud, sea fog and drizzle. Even more moisture is wrung out of this air mass over the higher ground in the west. This can lead to persistent rain over western hills, whilst a rain shadow to the east leads to drier and milder weather here. Polar maritime. The polar maritime air mass can bring us four seasons in one day. It normally starts in Greenland or Arctic Canada, a cold source region, especially in winter. But there's a long journey over the North Atlantic before it reaches the UK on a brisk northwesterly wind. Compared to the polar air, the ocean is much warmer. This air mass is effectively heated from below, making it unstable. Beefy cumulus and cumulonimbus clouds bubble up and arrive from the northwest, bringing frequent showers of rain, hail, thunder, lightning, and in the winter, sleet and snow. Between the showers, there will be some sunshine, but it will feel chilly. Returning polar maritime. The returning polar maritime air mass can bring us all sorts of weather. Like the polar maritime air mass, this also starts in Greenland or Arctic Canada, a very cold source region. Warmed from below by the much warmer Atlantic, it becomes unstable with lots of heavy showers. But this one spends longer over the Atlantic and can move up again from the south, arriving in the UK on a southwesterly wind. It will become milder then and pick up more cloud and rain. So a returning polar maritime air mass will bring a lot of cloud as well as showers or longer spells of rain, especially to western areas. Arctic maritime. The Arctic maritime air mass mainly affects the UK during the colder months of the year. Winds directly from the Arctic move south. They start off very cold and as these northerlies move over relatively milder seas, they pick up moisture and slowly warm from below. Now this causes instability. Shower clouds bubble up. But it's a short enough sea track that the air remains cold often cold enough for snow, especially near coasts that are exposed to these northerlies. It's also a very clean air mass. Away from the showers, bright blue skies can be expected and sparkling visibility, although that north wind is cold. Polar continental. The UK's coldest weather in the winter can be the result of a polar continental air mass. Bitterly cold air from Eastern Europe Scandinavia or Siberia is carried our way on an easterly wind. This starts out dry, but as it crosses the North Sea, it will pick up some moisture and become unstable, leading to snow showers, mainly in eastern England and eastern Scotland. 
it will feel raw everywhere with a marked wind chill. Although the west will normally be dry in an easterly, there is a chance here of significant snow when the Atlantic tries to return. Tropical continental. The UK's hottest weather, especially in the summer, is often down to a tropical continental air mass. Southerly winds import heat from southern Europe or North Africa. The weather will be hot, sunny and mainly dry, although the heat can trigger thunderstorms, especially over Europe, but possibly also homegrown over the UK. Now that you know these six air masses and the weather they often bring, well, you can now roughly predict the UK's weather any way the wind blows.